Hello, in this video tutorial, I will be showing you how you can make 3D mockups. These mockups will be fully customizable. You can tweak them however you like and also animate them. We will be using Preview.app, which is an online website, so you do not need to download any software. It will be, and I'll show you the process. It should be very simple and easy to do. The first thing you want to do is navigate to the page. I will share the link in the description of the video. And you will be on this page, you will be able to see pre-made templates. You can use these templates to easily get started with the animations or mockups, um, or use them for inspiration to create your own by starting from scratch. If we do want to start, start from scratch, you have these 2D blank templates or 3D blank templates that you can start from and since this video is about 3D templates, I will be starting um, with a 3D mockup. Um, so I will simply pick one template that I like and I'll start customizing it from there. Um, let's pick something that is relatively easy and straightforward and get going. Okay. Let's wait for, for to load and I will explain what the editor does. On the timeline uh, down below, we can see different elements. Um, there are devices, text, and camera that are all present in our animation. Let's play our animation and see what happens. It's an iPhone that pops up and some text is appearing on the right. Let's zoom out a little bit so that we can see what is going on um, better on the timeline. It's a 3.7 second animation where um, in a lot of cases, what you want to do is simply replace the screen placeholder that is currently present on the phone with something that is more custom. In our case, let's click on the device layer, upload the media. In some cases, you might want to input video inputs, which are supported, and play a video animation. You can see that is a Twitter typing input, um, and we will actually need to extend the uh, timeline so that the video plays until the end. Um, but I do not want to add a video. Instead, I just want to add something simple to show you um, the tool and how you can create these animations. Now, let's go to the layers. Um, text layer 1, delete it. Text layer 2, let's delete this element as well so that we can start the animation from scratch. Let's click on the camera layer and zoom out. Um, let's go to the background tab and change the color to white so that we can better see what is going on. The way to animate um, is to play around with the position, rotation, and scale effects that belong to the device. We can see that uh, by clicking on the first checkpoint, we have a certain position. And by looking, clicking on the second checkpoint, we can see that position changes. And what will happen is the animation will actually um, move the device from one position to another and extrapolate the movements. Um, the same will be done for a rotation. Um, we have a rotation of 50, uh, 60 on the Y uh, coordinate and it will be changed to 45 at a specific point in time. Um, let's demonstrate it, um, I guess, in a, simple, in, in a simple way by deleting these, this device. Um, let's go to the device tab to add a new device. Let's add a new iPhone. We can see it's been added to the middle. Let's move it around and increase its size so that we can see what's going on. Um, again, we can see that the device is actually quite long and we might want to make it a seven second animation in this case. Uh, click on the device, move it to the left, and we want to animate it so that let's change its position. Click on the position layer and activate it. And let's say that at five seconds, we want the device to be on the right. So simply move the timeline to five seconds, click on the device and move it to the position that you like. And as you'd expect, the new checkpoint has appeared. And what actually happens is the device starts in position A at the specific point in time, and it moves to a new position within the time frame that you have selected. Okay, so far so good. And one last thing to showcase is these checkpoints 
they are also customizable. So you can change different easing. Uh, in this case, it's linear. We might want to have for drastic effect and showcasing the different easings. I will pick elastic in and out. Let's play the animation again and see what happens. You can see that it's slow at the start and it moves to the right in a different, um, in, uh, with a different easing and different transition extrapolation. Okay, so this is pretty much all you need to do to start um, animating and um, should provide you with um, the fundamentals of how to use the tool to provide custom animations. The easiest thing to do is to simply pick pre-made templates and work on them to customize them slightly to get more comfortable with the tool and how to use it. Um, for the sake of the example, I will change the media to something else and I will not only make it move from one side to another, I will also um, make it rotate. And in order to do that, I select the rotation layer, I move it to a specific point in time. Let's actually rotate it slightly faster and change the rotation to 360 degrees. So it will do a one full turn. And uh, as we'd expect, the phone moves and rotates at the same time. Um, the cool thing about this tool is that every single element is independent. You can add multiple elements. For example, I can click on the device, add a new device that will appear uh, here. It will be constant during our animation while the second device will just move on top of it. So hopefully this will get you started with how to create 3D mockups and animations that you can use for your own portfolios, your landing pages, or any other use case that you have in mind. Thank you for watching. And if you do have any questions or you wish me to cover a specific topic, leave a comment and let me know. Thank you for watching.